everyone, welcome to Sana's Documentary. Today we're going to talk about Yuki, my brother's albino cockatrice. It is called Yuki because it means snow in Japanese and well, she's an albino and thus white, so the name quite matches her. She's a very shy and introverted cockatiel and doesn't like to be touched. She bites you if you try to touch her. It took a lot of training for her to let us scratch her head. But now that he knows um, how well head scratches are, he will never let go of it and bites my finger to scratch her. We were thinking of buying her a flying vest so that we can take her outside, but they have to be trained from a very young age to comfortably wear a vest. And he was almost one year, two years old when we bought her. She likes to play with plastic and most of the time she plays with my glasses when she's sitting on my shoulder. She also tries to play with my laptop keyboard while I'm working and she has been successful in destroying some key, um, keys but I'm trying to keep her away from my laptop. She also yawns when she's tired um, to show us that it's her bedtime. Her beak is most of the time green because she loves vegetables such as lattes and spinach. She likes it even more than seeds, which is most cockatiels' favorite food. As you can see, she's trying to follow uh, my hand to eat the lettuce. He's not so much interested in the seed. She also likes chewing small balls of tissue and sometimes follows them around if you throw it on the ground. She likes to have something in her beak so that she can play with it. She's trying really hard to get the tissue ball out of my fingers. And here is another tissue bar, which you follows. And another one. I also met other animals on my day. Here's my friend's cat, Mr. Pico. He's a Persian cat and he has been trained almost for a year just to be able to follow the voice if you call him. 